So in this video I'm looking at additions to the symmetry editing tool. Alright, so here's our, our creature loaded up. We've already got um, the symmetry uh, tagging worked out there. So let's have a look at what's, what's new. So let's say I've got, here's our piece of shell for uh, probably arm or leg, something like that. And um, so under under edit settings, we've got four options here for the S key. So the S key is where you uh, move the mouse pointer over a shell, you tap the S key, and it copies the UVs from that shell to the mirror image shell. So in that case, it would be from probably this shell for the leg, it'll copy the UVs over to the mirror half shell for the mirror half. So let's see what the various options are. So I'll leave the self on to last. So ADJ is for adjacent. So if I go S, then what it will do is uh, it'll copy those UVs to the mirrored half and just place them adjacent to that shell. So if I make any changes to this, um, so here I'm editing the UVs. Um, I'm in live editing mode here, so it is actually flattening the mirrored half. But um, because if the the uh, geometry isn't perfectly symmetrical, then that flattening means that those UVs are not perfectly mirrored now. So I'd use the S key again just to up update those UVs. So that's the adjacent option. The OPP stands for opposite, so if I go S, what that does, I'll have to, got to zoom out here, it puts the copies of the UVs and places them on the opposite side of that tire. So in that case, we've got a, a symmetry line down the middle of that tile, and so the UVs are copied to the other half of that symmetry line, so that's the opposite. Uh, the next option, sort of does the same sort of thing but copies them over to the next tile. So if I do S key on that, it'll copy those UVs and place them on the opposite side, mirrored side of the next tile. So uh, the reason why you might do that is if, um, let's say I'll make this really big. So let's say you've got a, a shell that takes up a whole, a whole tile. If I just did the opposite copy here, it would overlap, so next allows me to place that shell in the next tile. So that means if you're painting textures or whatever, you just paint the textures for this one thing, and then you can flip the texture map for that other tile. You don't have to repaint the, the um, texture. Um, and so let's um, just optimize that down again. And the final option is SLF, and that stands for self. So what that does is if I do S key now here, what it does is it places the copied mirror image on top or usually underneath or on top. So it's sort of self positioned. It flips it over so you can see here it's taken that shell, flipped it over, placed it in exactly the same position. So that means you just paint one texture and uh, it's sharing that texture space. And so it would pick up the same texture. Um, and in that case, you end up with, um, it's the arm. So here's the texture here. Because the shell slipped over, you have a mirror image thing on the texture map. So that's the, the four options for the S key. Um, so let's unflip that. So another change to the S key is, um, let's say I've got these in position. So if I uh, if I aim the S key somewhere else, like not on a shell, um, what it'll do is it'll allow me to select a stretch a box. So in this case, I can do a box select over everything, and for every shell in that box, it will do the the symmetry copy. And in this case, I've got next selected, so it's copying all those shells. UVs over to the next tile. You can see here there's a couple where it didn't do that and that's the 
the head and the torso there. That's because it's a single shell that's got a that's mirrored within itself. So obviously it can't copy, you know, the UVs from here into the next shell. So in that case, it's just placing them on that that centre line for those ones. But the other ones, we've got a oh, there's a third one there. Uh, all the others that are independent shells, it will place them into the next tile. So it's, it saves you having to go through S S S S on all the shells, you can just stretch a box if you want to change that to adjacent and I can just do that or place them adjacent to them so there's your various options or self S here so they're all underneath and sharing that texture paste so that's the uh, new options now for the S key under the symmetry editing tool